Apple TV Plus S Dark Matter Episodes 1 and 2 set the stage for a compelling multiversal drama by leaving viewers with many intriguing questions and mysteries. After introducing its main character, Jason, played by Joel Edgerton, in its opening episode, Dark Matter walks through a day in his life, highlighting how he is a university professor by day and a family man by night. However, Jason's life turns upside down when a masked man threatens him at gunpoint and forces him to drive to a secluded place. With what follows, the masked man injects him with an unknown drug, and, moments later, Jason wakes up in an alternate universe. The Apple TV Plus show then reveals its first big twist, the masked man is Jason from a parallel universe, referred to as Jason 2, to avoid confusion, and has swapped places with the main Jason. As the Apple TV Plus sci-fi show progresses, several details about Jason 2's life and his decision to switch universes emerge. Before episode 2's credits start rolling, a character also seemingly dies, leaving viewers asking for more. Why Don kills Daniela 2 in Dark Matter episode 2's ending. Don wishes to protect her company's secrets. Jennifer Connelly as Daniela Vargas Dessen in Dark Matter, 2024, image via Apple TV+. After Jason arrives in Jason 2's universe and tries to convince Amanda and Jason 2's other co-workers that he has no clue where he is, they initially believe he is just disoriented after his multiverse travels. However, Amanda later seems to understand that he may not be Jason she knew after he visits her place and looks for his family. Don is also one of the employees at the company, Velocity Labs, founded by Jason 2. While the exact reason she killed Daniela will likely be revealed in episode 3, she seemed to have one of two possible motivations. One possibility is that the people at Velocity Labs were finally convinced that the Jason who has returned belongs to a different universe. Since he knows nothing about what they have been trying to achieve at the labs, his quest for truth could threaten their research and even cause disturbances in their timeline. Or, they probably still believe that Jason 2 returned to his original universe after the experiment but is struggling to adapt to his old life, which also makes him a threat because he could potentially expose their secrets to the world. Realizing that Jason might have told Daniela about his universe change, Don kills Daniela to hide the truth and protect Velocity Lab's interests. Her action prevents any leaks of confidential information surrounding the lab's future plans. Killing Daniela and abducting Jason also helps maintain the illusion that their universe, Jason, is still missing.